This video is a, an extra video to part two of Where in Mitcham WW2 Bomb Sites Part 2. My apologies for leaving some things out and also making a statement that may have confused. When I said that the church, the Methodist church that was hit by the bomb, wasn't rebuilt, I meant it wasn't rebuilt in that location at the fairground. The rebuilding fund, as seen here in this photo, on Merton Mary's of Reverend Blamey holding the collection box in front of the ruins of the church no doubt went towards the rebuilding of the brand new church at the cricket green now called the Mitcham Methodist Church. I also admitted to mention the casualties in the area. Now I know that the bomb struck at the night of the September 18th, September 19th 1940 but there were some deaths and they're in the spreadsheet so 18th September number two Upper Green East Mini Farwell age 50 number four Upper Green East Richard Thomas Stephen Gillett age 35 and in Langdale Avenue number seven Doris Christine Orson 42 at the same address, Nelson Humphrey James Orson, age 49. Number 9, Mary Maud Webb, age 68. Now, in addition to this, I had a separate entry on my website about a cafe called the Cameo Cafe. I think this ad came from the Mitcham Official Guide of 1937. Rather splendid cafe it looked like as well. Smartly dressed people, being served by a waiter. A cameo cafe, Mrs. I. Pope, proprietress. Luncheons, teas, suppers, special accommodation for motorists. Telephone, Mitcham 3359, open 8am to midnight, Sundays included. At number 8, Upper Green East Mitcham. So that's here. So there's 2 and 4, number 6, and that one. And it was so badly damaged that they moved their business to the London Road, along from the baths. So it's quite likely that this block it suffered extensive damage and required rebuilding. Now, today, numbers 6 and 8, or Gino's Restaurant. Look at it on the street view. So there's Langdale Parade over there, which was where which was the shops that were built where the Methodist Church was. There's Gino, so that's number two, number four, number six, number eight. So if number eight suffered enough damages that the restaurant had to move, then that makes sense that this building had to be rebuilt. We can see different brickwork up there, which might imply rebuilding of some kind. So that's number eight, Gina's restaurant. As it happens, back in the 70s, I remember another restaurant there, the Cavatoro. Here's an advert from 1986. Cavatoro Steak and Kebab House, specialities, Scottish steaks, charcoal grill. Mm. Um, I think this. I think this picture was a painting on the wall within that restaurant. And possibly with some significance. A Greek vessel of some kind. I wish I took a picture inside. But Memories has got a photo. Let's have a look at that. 
under the entrance. Family bushes, fair green. The photo also shows the Cabatoro restaurant, which was a kebab and steak restaurant, and this photograph is 1989. So we can see Langdale Parade there. Two, four, six, eight. Cabatoro. Going back to the Cam Cameo Cafe. And my blog entry says, it reopened at number 197 London Road. Mrs. Isabel Pope ran the cafe from 1934 to 1942. Oh, when she died, age 62. And that I got from the Norwood News. And there's the baths. And there is a restaurant sign along there. So, the news agents. That's from Merton Memories. Yes. Zoom in. Move across. Yes, restaurant. And from around the 1980s to 2012, there was Aussie's Taverna, which I also frequented. They also did steak deliveries. Telephone orders was taken for home delivery of steak as well as cabs. I can verify that. <laughs> ah. And I've given a list of what it became. 19... Shows number 197. Aussie's the phone up to... That's from Google Street View. Okay. Yeah, so... Aussie's to burner in 2012, so that's just over 10 years ago. Uh, Polish food. Wings and things. May 2024. Peri Peri chicken. Marvellous. Anyway. Thanks for watching. This has been an addendum to part two of Where in Mitcham, WW2 bomb sites. Thank you for watching. Part two is coming shortly. Bye.